All right, have and have not fans. Uh, I've been getting some interesting requests as well as reading the comments on various videos. And it's a split camp between Hannah's demeanor as of season eight. You got some people who love this side of Hannah that we're seeing versus a side that doesn't really care to see Hannah acting the way she is. I mean, I remember when we got the initial trailer and we saw her hitting David upside the head, pulling a knife on Derek, but we didn't really understand why. And every scene we saw Hannah in, it looks like she was just fed up with everyone and everything. But now that the season has been, well, we're almost at the halfway point, we truly understand that given this power and money, she's definitely had more enemies come her way than ever before, but she's standing her ground. And now the question is whether or not Hannah is going to sleep with David because towards the end of the last episode, I mean, just based on how Hannah was acting, it definitely felt like she was sarcastically entertaining David's advances because, you know, she wanted to know what mask or what David am I talking to right now? Jim's right hand man, the soft, sweet, you know, soft spoken David or who am I talking to right now? And it seems like she's playing along. But some people are inclined to believe that Hannah will actually sleep with David just to do it. And some people have been telling me that, you know, this might be Tyler writing the more human side of Hannah. But on the contrary, more people are saying that we're seeing a little bit less Christian Hannah and more abrasive, rash and human Hannah. But I feel like there are a few lessons that could be taken away from this alleged final season where we're definitely seeing the have nots become the haves and vice versa. That no matter how good of a person you are, your upbringing, your religion, your faith, whatever the situation is, money can change you. And I will say that so far, it doesn't seem like Hannah her loyalty, you know, to Catherine isn't in question. I mean, yeah, in the next episode, Jim is going to offer $25 million, which I feel like is a empty offer because he doesn't even have $0.25 cents to offer Hannah because the money isn't his. So, I mean, like I said before, some people love this uh, sassy unspoken Hannah standing up for herself pretty much not taking the same crap she was during her wig and apron days as the maid but I just feel like uh, I, I feel like what do they say the test of character isn't just when you are the one being uh, patronized and bullied but when you're the one who's in a position, how do you treat people? Like, I'm wondering how Hannah's going to deal with the whole Veronica and the loan situation. I mean, I'm not saying I dislike this Hannah. I'm just saying, like, this is a Hannah unlike any we've seen before. And I feel like for me personally, the biggest letdown of the Hannah character has been allowing her kids to keep not no no not allowing her kids to keep that money that belongs to the criers but the fact that she hasn't really done anything about it she hasn't allowed them to face the punishment of their actions that i mean all she's done is kick them out of the house and that's it but let me know what you think i mean I feel bad that all these people keep coming for. Her. I mean, some people are even comparing the way that Catherine treats Hannah to the way that Jim treats David, where it might not be blatantly in our faces that Hannah's treated as nothing more than the good black friend who's pretty much a gopher, go for this, go for that. That's essentially Hannah.
and David. So those two coming together as a result could be interesting, a little awkward, but we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, ironically enough, Catherine put Han in this position of power, and now Jim, who's lacking power, is putting Dave in a position to seduce Hannah to get said power. So, I truly feel like these two might be kindred spirits, but I don't really see these two together. I mean, that's just my opinion, but it, especially when you see all the women David has been with in the show so far, it kind of feels like, uh, I'm not saying that David's dating down, but it just feels weird. From a powerful white, political figure in Maggie Day to allegedly an old flame with the district attorney Jennifer to the whore Erica a fling with Alyssa and now Hannah just doesn't sit right with me but let me know what you think in the comment section below. I feel like at the end of the series Hannah's going to end up a millionaire I have no doubt about that so yeah let's uh yeah let's just talk about it below if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App, or join Patreon for as little as $1 a month. And with that being said, I'll talk to you soon.